Hello everyone, my name is Daniel Rett and I'm the founder of GrowDoc. Um, so what we're doing here today, we're building a DIY bucket system for humidity. So the thing that we were noticing and having problems with is humidifiers that are currently out on the market for grow tents and growers. Uh, the, a lot of them have clear containers for the water and that's really bad for algae because the light is leaking in. And the other ones might be too small in water quantity or even when uh, power shuts off, the humidifier will turn off and won't turn back on when power comes on. So it could make uh, an issue when if you have a power flicker or something. So what we're building here today is a DIY system that's going to run um, with an AC Infinity fan and ultrasonic mister and we'll be able to control it through either an Inkbird controller with humidity uh, or similar or a Raspberry Pi um, with uh, another uh, outlet connector. So here we have the ultrasonic mister and this one is a three head mister. You can also buy the circular ones with one head. Um, when you do buy these ones, the come with some sort of controller that you need to plug into uh, to get your, to plug to the uh, outlet. So those may be a concern. You can always buy the one heads where it's automatically uh, connected to the outlet. Uh, and then you've got the AC Infinity fan here um, that's just going to serve as blowing air into the bucket and it's going to be pushed out to the exhaust. And as well as here we've built a, um, we've 3D printed just a, a clip for the fan so that we can put it into the bucket and it will be easier to take out. And here we have the piping so that we can attach a secondary bucket and a float. So once the humidity or the water in the humidifier gets low, uh, the secondary bucket will then fill uh, the humidifier to continue on um, adding humidity. And then we've got just an exhaust here uh, in case you want to dehumidifier inside your tent, you can use this sort of exhaust. And if not, you can use the normal four inch pipe uh, to shoot humidity uh, inside your tent. And the most important part, the buckets. So the first step, we've got our bucket and we've got a hole saw drill here. Um, so it's a 19 millimeter, three and a quarter, and we're gonna drill our first hole and then apply uh, the float here just inside the bucket so then we can attach our pipe. So with these Alfred buckets, there's already a uh, marker to make your hole. So we're just gonna go ahead and that's about, uh, it looks about an inch and a half above uh, ground. We just had an issue there. We drilled with three, what was it? Three quarters and we needed to drill with seven eighths. So that's what we're re-drilling now. Okay, so now we've got the hole and we're gonna take our float and we're just gonna install it in. So now that's done. And now we're gonna go ahead with the other hole. Just like that. Clean that up a little bit. Okay, so now we've got our rubber in. So we've got this clamp here and this hose clip clamp that we're gonna put on and that will attach to the float and then we're gonna put this piece in here. And then this will serve as our water reserve. So just to start off, we're just gonna push this in there. Good to go. And then we can attach this into our reservoir here. For now and attach to our we'll attach to our bucket system like this so we'll just work on straightening the pipe out and we'll do that okay so here we go we've got it attached now so we got a feed system so the only thing we'd want it up off the ground and more of a downward so the water can flow through with gravity and the float on the inside here will control um, the water amount uh, that's needed and that's just something we'll set when the ultrasonic misters are there. So now we can move on to the next part which is doing uh, the lids and attaching the fan and then afterwards we'll just put in the ultrasonic mister and give it a go. So now with the lids we've got a yellow and an orange and a white. Normally we would want a black because we want it blacked out especially if it's going to go inside the tent. Um, so for our case, we're going to keep it on the outside. Um, well, for this one, we'll build one that goes inside and we'll use the orange one. 
Um, so here we're just gonna take a pen and these are great markers now for their hole and then we'll uh, proceed with using a utility knife and just cutting the hole so we can plug in this HT Infinity just like this on the top. And we'll use an exhaust pipe just here so we can put the humidi humidifier inside the tent and um, just shoot out some humidity. So, and then the second top is just gonna serve as the water reservoir, the backup water. So we're going to use our 3D printed piece to make a circle. So as, as mentioned, this is a 3D printed piece that we've got the link so you can download. But if you didn't have this piece and don't have access to a 3D printer, you can simply take your fan and still make a hole and then leave your corners available to uh, be held on that bucket cover. Um, we're just using this as an ease of access so that we could just pull out whenever we needed to. Then we have a cut and proceed with cutting it. What we're using here is an intent humidifier. Um, this is for sinks and this is just a 90 piece. So we just put these together and now we're just going to make a hole and then this will just be on the bottom so uh, we can put that in and in the future if we decide we want a four inch vent to shoot into our tent and keep the humidifier on the outside we can choose to do that by just expanding this hole so that's what we're going to do now there, cut now simple hole to then put the cord of the ultrasonic mister just through a quarter inch you can put it in the middle get the two touch buckets put the ultrasonic mister inside done okay perfect Okay, good to go. What we're doing here is we're gonna look at the guidelines that they have to post in the wires and we just got a flathead screwdriver. So um, we're gonna plug in the humidifier itself with the two wires. Um, and that's going to go under, red is volt plus, V, P, v plus, and the black is calm beside it. When you're screwing things, you always want the wire to go on the side that it's turning. Sometimes we need to give the wires a, just a twist so they stay together instead of hitting the sides and those in there. Okay, so we've got the humidifier installed and now we're going to put in the outlet plug. So we've got blue on L and we've got pink or brown in the middle on N got yellow and green and the other one and there we go it's set up ready to go so we're now ready to test it out we just need to add in water and we can see how it runs all right so now we've got it set up so the system is currently feeding water from the bucket to the other bucket and once it reaches the right height we're gonna set the float and then the humidity we'll start shooting out of the pipe um, and then we'll use a controller when needed. There you go, we got it built. Uh, the AC fan is quite a bit powerful. This would work well and better in a bigger grow tent or a grow room. Um, but it's definitely still usable. Maybe uh, switch the AC Infinity for a little uh, computer fan that might work better for you. Uh, or maybe get a controller to control the speed of these so you don't have that much humidity. But um, if you are, if you do have a large area, this 
should work great. And uh, there you have it. It'll keep going and you, you can fill this up and you could basically leave for a couple of days and know that your humidifier is still running. So there you have it guys. Thank you for watching our DIY bucket system for humidity. Uh, so you can scroll down below on the description where we posted uh, links to where to find these products and, and where to buy them. And as well as you can check us out on social media and uh, check out the GrowDoc app. Uh, you can download it below. Uh, the links are there. So thanks for watching and take care now.